Jane Cleland here. How can I, at the sentence level, increase suspense? Two things. Avoid to be verbs. Is, are, was, were, be, being, been, am. And shorten sentences. Put those together and you have active, urgent prose. I'm going to read you a before and an after example that I think really show you what I'm talking about. Uh, this relates to show, don't tell. And as you listen to the first sentence, the first example, which is only one sentence, uh, notice that I'm telling you what's happening. There's an arm's length distance from you, the reader, or in this case, listener. I was standing in the lunchroom when I heard a woman yell something, which was immediately followed by shrieks and cries that someone had a gun, and I thought I heard stuff tumbling over too, so I crawled under a table. It's clear what's happening, right? Here it is, more active, more urgent. I watched the microwave timer count down, 10 seconds, nine, eight. Stop, a woman yelled. I spun to the open door. Another woman shrieked, no, oh God. A man hollered, gun. Something, maybe a computer crashed onto the floor. The microwave chimed, ding. I dove under the closest table. Better, right? You know, Chekhov, Anton Chekhov, the great playwright, it is he who said, don't tell me the moon is shining. Show me the glint of light hitting the shard of glass. And Mark Twain said, don't tell me the old lady is screaming. Drag her on stage and let her scream. And that's what I just did. I got you there in the lunchroom with my eyes and my ears and what's happening in my world. It works. Good luck with it.